Hello everybody and welcome to the Leeds South. This is Kevin and me James. And today we're going to be talking about the Southampton game and uh, and the, and probably a bit of a preview towards Fulham. So James, do you want to start about how yes how yesterday was? Felt very tense to me. Uh, I think uh, it had a good atmosphere around the game. Uh, new atmosphere, manager atmosphere always good. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, but you, it was more in the players, and then once you seen on the players. You could sort of feel it in the ground a little bit, but it was um, definitely, definitely a tense performance, but we got the job done. We did. And that's what we needed, more than probably the performance. Um, we needed that win. We're back out of the relegation zone, so but about the game, um, who do you think who do you think uh, played by yesterday? Oh, well, obviously, to, <laughs> this would go without saying that Judy Furpo is the moustache master right now. He's really played really, really well. Uh, some of the stuff that he did, especially with when I think he was Vova, gave the ball away, and uh, Junior Purple uh, tackled the, the 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 speed of Theo Walcott and got him. And there's a good tackle against him. I thought that was pretty good. He did. did yeah. He did get caught just that once, but he did get back. And yeah, he was, but he, I thought he's been... He's been good game after game now that's that's a few games in succession which is what he needs it's definitely yeah. what he needs no but it's it's showing like there's there's there is a good player there when it when when you know when when it needs to be there so if um you know Gracia com, Gracia comes in and improves him then all 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 better for us probably wished it was a, a season ago but if it turns out to be that he he's a decent player, it's, it'll, it'll turn out to be money well spent. So, well, he did come from Barcelona, he did, and he he did he played well for Real Betis. But he was a more of a wing back there, weren't he? Like in, they were on a back five, and he used to get rampaging forward all the time. And maybe that's just what he needs. This is what you could see that we played with a bit of whip yesterday, and it su- suit whip, whip, and it suited him really, really well. And it's probably one of the best games he's had for us. And it, oh, see how hard he hit that shot though for the goal though. Honestly, no keeper in the world would have saved that. But you were talking about your bow's power. Yeah, there was like a power boot. Furpo's was light speed. Yeah. It just looked really awkward, but yeah. No keeper's going to save that in the world, are they? No. I don't think so. And, like, and he's on his weaker foot as well. That's how good he is. Did he want to hit him with his left? And then he ran to the crowd with his tongue out. That was a bit weird, but... Yeah. Um, is he yeah, right though? Definitely, he? definitely you're improved. I'm hoping that um that just continues now and he just goes on from this. We've seen the improvement in Ailing as well. Yeah. Well we said that last week, didn't we, about yeah. Ailing and how he's he deserved his new deal. I think he deserves it. And there isn't really that much competition for his place at the moment, but he seems to be playing out of his skin. And while well, the defence kept a clean sheet, what more can you say? Yeah. Weren't really tested much yesterday, but when they were, they seemed to cope with the well. Cock was really good. Yeah, I, I think the so. Vober was good, but Cock was massive. <laughs> was uh, Cock's massive? Honestly, he always got a head. Didn't yeah, he? he did. Yeah, always got that head on. And honestly, he scared got his tip to everything. I'm telling mm. you, yeah, he just loves it. Yeah, absolutely loves it. Cream. Honestly, absolutely. I swear he could jump higher than Seaman. Uh, Cock. He yeah, he could. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he was amazing. But I'm, I'm, yeah, he seems to be start doing a lot more playing as a good, like he's, he's on some good form at the moment. I'm quite happy with him. He's adapted. He's adapted. He needed time to adapt, and he's now. He sort well, it's of, his first season. James. Yeah, but <laughs> he was injured a bit. You know, his first season. He had, he, had, he, was, he was injured for ages, wasn't he? I mean, he needed an operation in that first season, yeah. so he was playing with an injury for a long time. But I think it's the Tash power. And then, right, yeah. And then last season we just we just crumpled so much yeah. that the. Defence and Melier was they had so much pressure on it at the time. It, it showed Melier was he, he conceded the most goals and yeah. made the most saves. Yeah. So it just showed just how much a pressure we had as a team last season. So you know, um, but this season he's you know it's at times he's looked really really good uh, for us. So him and Wavoba they can turn that turn that into a solid partnership. I hope so. I do feel yeah. I do feel. So- that's uh, so obviously Strauch getting concussion at the wrong time has put Vober in at centre half and he's turned into an absolute machine. He maybe needed to come out for a little bit, 
stroke because he was playing every game. Yeah, out of position as well. You know, it's like adapting to a new position when you know it's not your strong. You know, you want to you you don't want to be playing there, but you're playing there because you've been asked to, and it's and he was he did get a bit a bit cack after he got his haircut as well, didn't he? It's, it's a bit weird how that happened. How we sort of lost. It's, it's, it's a bit like Samson, Samson isn't it? Yeah, a little bit like Samson, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he's, I song. think yeah, he just probably needed a little bit of time out because it's he 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 seen it at the end. He was sort of like making a few mistakes and so it's off it, a bit off 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 it. But um, but if these two can come in now and play, wow! Look at them. Look how happy they are. I know. Just to let everybody know, we're actually got the the, the Man United Carabao Cup f- final lot in the background, and just they're, they're all just they're all twats. I mean, it's they're just really really happy yeah. they've won the Carabao Cup, and yeah, it's amazing that they're, they're treating them like they're um, like they've just conquered world hunger or something. They were all touching them as they were walking past, yeah. like kids were crying, and I was oh, like, no, yeah. it's. They've won. They've brought the Carabao Cup all the way back from. They're just a little Manchester. They're just because it's twats. it was already there. I just walk up the road and grab it. Yeah. But anyway, so back to what were we talking about? The um. No, you're on strike, I believe. The strike, event, yeah. yeah. So yeah, a little bit of time out. Probably do them a little bit of world of good. Um, I thought Cooper was back. He seems falling off the edge of a cliff again. Yeah. Well, I, I don't. I'll be honest. I don't see Cooper getting back in now. Until if. Unless anybody gets that. injured, I mean, he might, might play Tuesday. Yeah. He's a good backup. He's for now. He's a good backup, but um, yeah, Tuesday will probably be a good measure of what happens and see how players players are. Because the one thing you don't want to do is break consistency up. If yeah. if if players are playing well, if they if they, you, know, you don't want to wear them out, but if you know getting a good run of games into like, certain partnerships, I feel mm. will only like. Help us. Well, we can. You can always check. You can always use that game. I mean, yeah, I'd love. I'd love to get to an FA Cup final. Obviously, I've, I've said that millions of times throughout my whole entire life. I'd love to be able to uh, watch Leeds at a final. Obviously, I didn't get to League Cup when we lost to Villa. Cause about eight. So, would you do a Wigan? I'd do a Wigan. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Or get relegated. Yeah. Still win it. No, I'd rather stay in the Premiership thinking about it. But that's more personal. That's that's me personally. But no. Nah. Never been to a never been to a final with Leeds. Didn't even, didn't even get to play off to go to Wembley then. No. So Ten Hag is a twat. But. Yes. So I think that um, Carabao, uh, the Carabao Cup is rubbish. Yeah. And uh, the FA Cup is much more important, which is what we need to win and stay up. But getting relegated and winning that because I feel it like would be all right if we get relegated. No, I do want to stay up. We need to stay up really. Um, and got the league. So um, with with McKenney and Adam yesterday, they seemed to get around the pitch quite a lot. They were really high in all their all their stats. How do you think they sort of like, did yesterday? I thought they battled on. I do think it was a, a more of a war of attrition in centre midfield though, because uh, I do feel uh, not obviously not so much that Ward Ward Prowse lad because then you can see there was a tactic that do not give out any fouls away around yeah. the edge of the box. But I do think I've got to give props to that Lavia for Southampton. He's, he, he's yeah. he could just could not get a ball off. No, and the way that he moved around, I, I could he's, I could think he's going to have a big future in the game. He is. He howled onto the ball really well. Yeah, amazing. But then he he weren't always good with his dis- distribution. Oh, so there is definitely a player there. Oh, I could, you can see that. I'd like if they go down, maybe we can sign him and just have four central midfielders in the team. Yeah. Just, just, just can't play away. Can't play the can't play away from. This him. needs someone. To to pass, I think Rocker coming in there and being able to play a pass will will benefit. I think, think so as well because McKenney's passing was. Yeah, I think the only thing Leeds are missing as as a unit is someone who's going to put their phone on the ball and make a pass. Yeah, somebody like yeah. Pablo Hernandez, so yeah. somebody like that, yeah. someone who's going to op- uh, open up a defence. I don't think we've got that, but that'll get me on to like Brendan Aronson because I actually thought he played well yesterday. He's a yeah. Fucking weak. I think there's players in there that could do that at the moment. They just need to, you know, get a bit more confident. I yeah. No, definitely players that can open. Well, I reckon Sinisterica's sure. doing it. Yeah. I do think that. Needs to stay fit. Needs to stay fit. Yeah. But I don't think... Sinister, there to be able to... Sinister stay fit. I don't think there, there is that many players around that sort of stuff, though. But I need to get back to Aronson because I thought he played really, really well yesterday. 
he just got knocked off the wall a lot too much. Uh, probably just in the summer, get on those weights, get a bit of protein shaking him, Jack eat some Harrison. steaks. Yeah, what Jack Harrison did. Jack Harrison went on his little summer, summer like camp and built himself up and went on a big gym streak. So yeah, Aronson played better yesterday, got on the ball a lot more. weren't always good with it, but you could see he was trying. He was he was trying to make things happen. So yeah, if he can, yeah, he's a bit up. better. I do, I do feel yeah. it was a bit better. But honestly, if I have to watch him take another set piece, I'm gonna put my head for a brick wall. They were, they were pretty bad yesterday. I, 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 I can't remember us being good at them in any of the last games. If I'm being honest, no. we went through a little period where we looked okay yeah. with them for a bit. We were quite inventive and we were sort of making things happen. Look, we looked quite dangerous for a while, and that's sort of we went through a period where that's what we were hoping for because we looked a bit dangerous from them, them, them set pieces. But yeah, the last few games especially, it's just gone a bit off oh, you've got Vernon Cock running all the way up there and then, no. then nothing's coming in it's just hitting the first man all the time and I know what they're trying to do that little that yeah. little run across and flick but, but that's what we also used to do the same you thing have to always, you have to be so good at doing it otherwise it's it turns into us getting countered and it happens so much it's happened so much this season so we we just need to get better at that and that's where you've got a player like Greenwood yeah who can and that's where like if you've got someone like McKenny and Adams and those I said the other, in the other episode about maybe releasing them but playing with two people that's going to do all the doggies yeah and you're the man to, to, to get your foot on the ball and play the pass because he can do that he's yeah. definitely a player that could do that they didn't even get the other card he just did they? no Neither did Furbo. Bamford did. Yeah. Furbo didn't get his uh, 50, yellow card after 15 minutes. So we figured it out. It's either a goal or a yellow card. Yeah. He just yellow card in it for ages. Mm. But I do, yeah, the manager would seem quite calm as well yesterday. But I will come back to that, I guess, really. But yeah. So no, I guess that what he did is probably just, he's he's quite calm, made the team calm. But those last few minutes, it cacked me pants a little bit because I know, because I just thought it's Leeds. But yeah, clean sheet win. That's harsh. Yeah, Somerville was the best threat. The catalyst. <laughs> the best threat for Southampton yesterday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when yeah. Elia had to... I know, you could have caught that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I'm saying that. That's how unfret like Southampton were, that yeah. that was their best attempt. Um, yeah, you say about... They didn't get any balls in the box for that big lump up. No, no, they didn't. Like... And he didn't look he didn't, he didn't look very good yesterday. He I mean, it was Apparently a good player. Um, yeah, in, in the Belgian league. Yeah, well, you know. I could be a good player in the Belgian league. Could, yeah, I suppose. Belgian league is... Kevin Van Van Becker. That'd be awesome, mate. I could play right back and then still score more. Right, 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 right back at home. All right. All right, because I can't say stuff like that. not very nice. We, we, uh, we just need to build on. We just need to build on yes, uh, yesterday. I'd like to see Rutter get a start against Fulham. I hope he does. I hope he does. Because the, um, the, 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 some of the moves that he did yesterday, when he's holding it in the corner, you know, just right, and then just skins all. Yeah. He's got yeah. some. Technically, he has got some. Definitely. He just get, he's been written off by a, quite a few people already that I've known. I was done pay attention to that lucky. On social media now, he's 20. He's He's got something. He's both footed. And do you know what? He even did a couple, a couple of flick ons in there. So he looked like he wants to get a bit in with the dirty stuff as well. Like, yeah, doing some daft shit in that. I oh, just like to watch like players and not make my mind up about them and whatever people think it's it's up to them, isn't it? But he's yeah, he's twenty years old. He's got a lot of so on it. Yeah, and he's come over from I know Nonto. Everyone expecting the same sort of sort of progression. He's just come over and did what he wants to do, and that's fine. Just, other players are different, and they take a little bit of time. And Nonto, um, right, isn't he? He is. He's good. See, did you see him uh, celebrate? Yeah, I did. Well, he scored. Yeah, garbage, yeah. Absolutely levered it up the pitch. He looked really mad when he came off as well, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's good. But yeah, yeah. I like to see a bit of fire. Yeah, I think he's more like mad at himself that, you know, he couldn't make something happen, but... He did make stuff happen, did, though. though. did. He really did. He's such a good player. Um, it's, it's amazing that no one else has... That went for him. It, honestly, I don't understand how he's not on. He wouldn't have been on a lot of lists. Oh, that's, it's, it's crazy. But clubs all over. I mean, look at look at all that stuff. Because he wasn't even playing under twenty ones or anything. No, he was playing first. He was playing first in football. Yeah. So, but I'm glad that well, I'm glad that we got him. We got him. Yeah. But we obviously we went after Ducatelet for all that time and 
And then they had him in the back pocket. When he come in, Jesse goes, oh, I don't think he's ready for first team football yet. Mm. Uh, the first major, he just comes on and just runs the show. But I, 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 do, I do feel... One of a little ploy like to not let anyone buy him, but yeah, yeah. what you're saying. But maybe that, 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 that could have been it. But he's, he's they've been double upped on now a lot. But I do feel we need to work that out tactically. And maybe if Sinister is over on the other side, maybe he'll get more room. When we got like, the, the first 11, that I feel like he'll... That'll fit in. I think Harrison might end up getting benched at some point though for Sinistera. Probably. Yeah. Well, you know, it depends. He did all right yesterday, actually. He weren't that bad, but his delivery was, was terrible. But he did get an assist for the goal. So, yeah, he, he, he was better yesterday than he was against Everton. Yeah, and I think you're right in that um, when he's just like noticing that the double up on Nonno, because it is starting to happen more and every, more. Every game. It just leaves someone free. Yeah. So, if we can capitalise on it a little bit better than that, then... That's something that we can go off, yeah, definitely, because we have got players like Sinistera and even Harrison when he's on form and he can yeah. and, he, and he starts drinking past players that can make stuff happen up there. It's just about confidence for a lot of our players, unfortunately, because we have got a young team. Yeah, there's youngsters all over the shop, and confidence is going to is going to play a part at times. It's, it's obvious. Um, Phil Jones <laughs> is on the team. TV. He looks, so he looks like he's lost about 15 stone. He's got a dishwasher in his ear. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's lost about 15 stone. He's on 150 grand a week and hasn't played a game in about three yeah. years. Do you think he's happy that he... Or sad that he didn't get to play in this momentum tie? I don't know. I think, I think he's, he doesn't give it give it a shot. If I'm being honest with you. I think he wants, to, he wants to play for someone else? I'd, I'd like to see him play for someone else. Because, honestly, I don't remember him being a bad player. I'd like to see him do anything. He just gurned a lot of them there. What? He's, he's just gurned a lot. He's just a very expressioned faced yeah. player. Yeah. And he used to throw everything into everything. Yeah. His face, his his lips, his eyeballs, everything. He was just a very passionate. Yeah, player. he wanted everything. He left that nothing left nothing out there as they say. Yeah. Um but yeah. Anyway, back to the The Leeds United the, talk. The Leeds United talk. Yeah. Sorry guys. Uh, oh, Manuel, right. I mean it's just it's been amazing to watch how happy they are about winning the Carabao Cup. Should just be a little game between Man, Man United and Man City. Just let them play for it. Well, they're the only ones that care about it. Yeah, the twats. But I would, I would probably win it, and I'd be okay if we won it. But I don't mind if I was winning his own head, then I wouldn't be happy about winning it. Oh, the, the, not, fan, the fans be, were happy. Be th- they're back. They're yeah, back. They are back. They are all they're they're back. Back with a vengeance. Yeah, they are back. Coming at you to a town from Manchester. Slightful. Bloody blue Bruno Fernandez looks like Boris the Badger, doesn't he? Looks like he's what growing that, his what beard. Was that, what was that thing that we wrote when we were kids? He painted his beard. No, and he used to be mashed potato. The Badger. That? The Badger that used to eat mashed potato. What's, what was that one? I can't remember, but that's what Bruno Fernandez was real. He's Bodger and Badger. Bodger and Badger. That's Bodger and Badger. Yeah. Bodger and Badger. Yeah, he looks like Bodger and Badger Fernandez does. He's an absolute prick. But yeah. He's got a good little delivery on him. Uh, and he can do little bits and bobs, but he does look like he. Let's talk about Leeds. I don't want to talk about my own. Drew on his it's beard. A, I feel like we're giving him too much. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, it's not for it's not for like credit, though. No, no, it's definitely. Anyone else that's my United fan of listeners, it's not for credit at all. It's just for you amazement, be. amazement of things. Anyway, so um, we have got we, we've got things that we need to work on definitely. Um, and a defence because we get to clean sheet. Don't need to work on defence. South Sound them didn't really test us. No, no not at all. They're, they're, I mean, they they may be the worst team apart from Lavia. Apart from apart from Chelsea, obviously. Yeah, I'll but next yeah. so there's another. But I do think they're probably the worst team we played against this year. But more South they, 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 they have it and have it like, obviously because they're. One of the worst football clubs around, and they, 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 they're always they're just their football is they're disgraceful. No, it's not. It's not nice, and they hire Frank Lampard, which yeah. is unforgivable. But I do have if out of obviously any other team, I do feel Everton are probably like the closest sort of team to Leeds because they've got that Leeds mentality about them. Yeah, and I don't really hate Everton. I just hate the way they play football. <laughs> yeah, it's for a special someone out there. Yeah, it is. hope you're listening. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he loves Risdale, but. He absolutely loves Risdale. Loves Risdale. Yeah, his pants down. He did have his pants down when talking about Peter Risdale. So yeah, like he had everyone else, his pants down. <laughs> he did. He did. Oh, I'll just might as well just sign Seth Johnson again, put him back in the team. 
You would, 35 yeah. grand a week? Oh, I'll have yeah. a bit of that. 35 grand a week now, yeah, definitely. And you wouldn't pay Jim Norton Hassel back the contract that you wanted. <laughs> but then he could have a chance of 35 yeah, got, grand a week. Got some nice fish, mate. Who does? Ridstone. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Got some nice goddamn fish. And if anyone knows business, you have to have nice fish. <laughs> that's true. Like, what sort of fish do they have there? They don't need to pay people. Or, uh, that, uh, or, or they need to be paid. They just need to. Where's our fish? Slap people with cod. <laughs> cod slapper. Cod slapper. So, yeah, back to game. The game of procrastination. Okay. So, I mean, Bamford did have the ball up well in some parts. Yeah. He... But then he ducked under the ball node. A little like, bit leggy, like, isn't he? He is a bit, a leggy. bit leggy. I think Rutter's going to start on Tuesday. I think he might. Yeah. He looks. Oh, God. He just needs a, run, a little run of games. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But he need, also needs a bit of space to run into because yeah. we haven't seen him run into space with the ball. You've seen him a moment. See, when he knocked it past. Um, who was it at the back playing mate of Norris, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh knocked it past him and just went, Yeah, he looks like he's got a bit of a burst on him. Yeah. Um and he looks happy, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks like he loves playing football. Yeah. I didn't like I didn't see when he had quilt on his legs, but look, he's just, just, I, I just think he's got some and I think he does he seems he's like, gonna be big to seems like a nice dude like, like on interviews and stuff. Yeah. So. He does look like he just like I'm I just want to play football. Yeah, that's it. He's that's why I like same as William Onto. Yeah. Yeah, so just hopefully just start. Hopefully he gets a, gets a little bit of a run. Um, but we need offering something though. He does offer you something, and he yeah. and he and he occupies even if he's off his game in terms of finishing. It's it's off, but he he occupies defenders when it gets held up, and he can hold up well. And he draws fouls. He was as well. better again. He was draws fouls. He gets fouled. He, 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 penalty? Do you think? Yeah. So. I think so too. Maybe I'm being a little bit biased, but every, every, every foul against Leeds is a penalty. Definitely <laughs> could have been given them. He was just not halfway on his penalty. Definitely could have been given them. I do feel like if if that's us doing it to somebody, say, I don't know, a Chelsea next week, I think that's going to be a penalty. Yeah. Oh, I did watch Chelsea game today and they look terrible. Yeah, but they're playing against hold my beer Leeds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something's going to happen. Chelsea. It'd probably, it'd probably end up being about 5 5. Chelsea ain't scored a goal for ages. It would end up being a 5 5 or something. I'm like just that. I'm just hoping because he said he's. Uh, so going back to the manager, he just. He said he's uh, he's only been in one day. He, he said you know, he knows he's got stuff to work on and improve on. And he said that we'll definitely definitely play better next week. So, so yeah, it's a kind of feeling, isn't it? It's, 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 got, it's got confidence in what he what he's what he's about. So but hopefully the manager's a good time. Hopefully, no, he said we're going to play better. Hopefully, that's the case, and and we do see like a, like a bit of a stamp from him and how he wants to got, how he wants days. us to play. He's got two days before the next game. Yeah, but he's uh, Chelsea. I'm thinking is going to be the one because again, yeah, maybe you get right. a full week in. I think there's going to be a few changes um, on Tuesday. There will be um, because of the position we're in. Yeah. You'd like to, you'd like to think that will still be a strong side. I'd like to. I don't. Want, I don't. I know he's going to sound a bit, a bit. He's I don't want to see the kids. I think because of maybe what, Perkins, Joseph. I mean, to get them in. Yeah, he's did it. He did it before. You know, you see Sam Greenwood, Stein. Maybe, but you think he, his his position is to come in and keep us up. That's that's his target. That's his priority. Yeah. So he's going to think right. Am I going to save? My, you know the players I need the most for the league yeah. and we're going to do that and you know with because of where we are you, you've got to think that's the right decision I think, he, I think you'll you'll maybe rest uh, Voba maybe maybe Voba yeah maybe Adams yeah. Adams, Adams. And Kenny and Rocker I think Rocker will start definitely yeah. maybe Greenwood Rutter Somerville Somerville definitely so it looks from what I saw today it looks like Sinister is probably not going to make it no which is a shame, really. It, we, I wish we could play more than two games in a row. He looks for the for the little snippet that he was on against Man United. He I'm looked not. okay. He's, I've, every time I've watched him, he's been good. Every time I've watched him, he's been good. He's got so I think he's 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 just he's just good. I just wish he stayed fit. Maybe with a good preseason in him next year, if we stay up. Again, everyone under, underestimates the sort of physicality of the Premiership, and it's and it. Imagine it was. But it was twenty years ago they were coming into play. Yeah. I don't know. Really. Jesus Christ! They'd, they'd fall apart. Yeah, this, this they'd all fall right. apart. The yeah. players today would fall apart. They'd literally crumple to the ground. But yeah, he just—I think he's, he's definitely underestimated it. 
And um, that's what I knew. That one was hard because I know it's not as as hard as it used to be, but it's probably still a bit tougher than coming from the European leagues because they get blown blown yeah. on their for falling over yeah. there. So it's like that was happening back in the day when we were still kicking lumps out of each other. So, but yeah, maybe that's it. Is is just getting getting used to the physicality of it and building himself up a bit, just like Karen's and just like a f- maybe a few of us. Black's like that too, and he was absolutely tanked. Massive. The size of a diamond triangle. Yeah, right. triangle. Right. Right. Nah, no, I can firm way. Oh yeah, I can firm way. <laughs> I can size back in front of my. You run one, Marcel. I've just had a knot with the bellies. And Aronson. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them. Yeah. And just running into people. Yeah. And just running them over. Aronson still kept his silky skills though. It's like, yeah. But no one could get the ball off him because he's so wide yeah, that, that he's just cool. holding players off and his feet are just Irish dancing for him. Yeah. Bang. That would be amazing. Yeah. It's not going to happen that. though, but hopefully they do build them. You, you should do the same thing, Jim. Jim well, Pat as me. It's you, yeah. Well, he has been because he doesn't go. <laughs> That's very true. That's true, yeah. Oh, so okay. So we're going now. We're coming, obviously, coming up towards the end of this now. Uh, we've basically just chatted absolute shite for twenty minutes straight. That's all right. That's all right. I think we should, should we do feels okay. Should we do a prediction for fun on? Oh, because I think they're in a position where they can just go for it. Yeah, they can. Uh, we're obviously. We might not. He might not. He might think the same. He might think we need. Why not? We, he got to a final last time, didn't he? Yeah, he might think that playing, if they can play, playing the same team helps the team gain confidence. I don't particularly see that being the way. I think his remit is to stay up. Yeah. Um, and I think he'll keep his his best players for for Chelsea. Yeah. Well, he can't drop everyone. No, he can't. Like, I think Melia will still play. Um, because he didn't do anything. Yeah. Yesterday, if, so. if if his tactics mean that Melia doesn't have to do everything every game, I'll be I'm happy with that. Yeah. It will just be our own players that we'll need to worry about. Like some of us, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll just we we'll have to worry about that ourselves because yeah. I think that's one thing. The next lesson that will that will teach them is like don't score on goals. Don't score on goals. So some of it will we'll, we'll know next game not to try and score on goal. I think we're going to win five two. We're going to score five, and then we. uh we're going to score two goals for because we're so happy that we. Sam <laughs> Wilder says, <laughs> "Copy me." Yeah, now I think uh, I think it's going to be a draw and be a replay. Um, I feel like if we play our strongest team, I think probably think yeah we might draw. They replay, lost, possibly they? win. They lost uh, yeah, on Saturday, didn't they? Did they play Wolves? Wolves. Oh yeah, they did. They lost, and now they're they're up there. I feel like. They, they might be in the same boat as us, but on the opposite end to that is they might maybe rest a few because they want to go for the best league position because it was going maybe to follow them in there. I just feel like they're they're in more of more of more of because it's a way into Europe anyway, isn't yeah. it? So I think they're in more from from permission to uh, position to go go for it. Um, so they might play a stronger team, we might play a weaker team, and I feel a lot that we'll probably lose. I'll never say with those, but we won't. All right, good. That's good. We won't. All right, it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a f- final this this season for us. I feel like I'd love a final. It's gonna be a final, and then it's gonna be a win in the final. It's got, we're gonna win the cup. We're gonna be in Europe next year. Imagine that. We're gonna play against a stack. And not gonna lose another game all season. Imagine that. I can't imagine that. McKenney's gonna score a hat trick next. Just this, I just of back heels. I'm just, I've said this every single time. It's those last four games that worry me. So we need to get how many points do we need to stay up? Uh, probably with, from after before yesterday, yesterday about 15, 15, 16, and we've got twenty. If we could win five more games, yeah, I right. think so. If we win five more games, right? And then we've got fifteen. Yeah, just beat everyone. Just beat every team. Beat every single and team. And don't concede a goal. And don't concede any goals. Did you know if you score more goals than your team, you win football won't you? Did not know that. Oh, you do now because I've been watching Leeds. Yeah, I've been thinking that we must be winning a different way. Well, it's the first league win since November. Yeah, and I was back. It was a World Cup in between. I remember that. Yeah, it was a World Cup. So it is what it is. World Cup when we got out. We did. Yeah, we got some good results. We should have won some games. It was Newcastle and Man United. It was a good week. Went bad results. It's really that that draw at Newcastle. That that could be big coming the end of the season. 
And the, obviously the draw against Or it could be meaningless. Yeah. And we just got a good point at Newcastle. What's your prediction for the full game? I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with sneaky Sneaky two one. To us. Yeah. Good. I I I think it'll be a draw, but if we do win, I think it's because we score more goals than them. I think we'll concede first as well. We always concede first against Fulham. No, we didn't. I think it's goal though. An own goal, eh? I think we're scoring our own goal. Who's going to score it? Probably JB. JB. Yeah, JB might get us that. I feel like he'll do a scissor kick or something. I don't know. But yeah, 2 1. Right, wicked. 2 1 to the mighty Legion of Ireland. Good. Right, okay, so I guess. Wait there. All right. Scorers. Okay. You mean that's me about scorers? No, I don't want scorers. Yeah, it all matters. Though. Okay, who's going to score? Ritter. Ritter, yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Okay. He's going to score both of them. He's going to do two, two breakaway goals. I think we'll be under a lot of pressure. And I think we'll concede. And then I think we'll get a breakaway goal. And then I think we'll be, get a bit confident. Okay, good. Yeah. Go on then. We'll go for that. We'll go for a 2-1. Okay, cool. Right, okay. I'm, I'm just going to go for a draw. Then maybe a 2-1 win. Because that's what I had. What draw? What's the score? Well, one. What's the score draw? 1-1, one, one, cock own goal, cock header. Off his head. And then and if we do win... Straight in. It will be straight in the hole. It will be uh, Jacob Burns. Jacob Burns comes up yeah. and does an, a, a knee attack. Ah, oh, Jacob Burns. What Great hair. Great hair, Jacob Burns. He did a lot. He looked like Michael Moles, didn't he? He used to play for Rangers. He did, like a sort of stumpier version. Yeah. He looked like the kit was always too big for him. It looked like the kit was too big for a lot of players. Yeah, it did like that. Harry George was looking at his kit. Harry Kuhl, like, he was, he was drowning kit <laughs> like that. Oh, you just run around like, looking like a kite. <laughs> it's okay. Flying into tackle. Okay, 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 okay. Right, Leeds House, this is us finished for this week. Uh, we uh, hopefully should have one coming to you before the uh, Chelsea game with a bit of information on that. So, I'm Kevin. I'm still James. And we'll speak to you soon. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.